James Kaufman will news report today. Ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at our four KP indexes across America here. And first, we'll see that the two chromite injections that Noah said that would impact Earth on the 7th and 9th or 8th and 10th did not occur. We saw nothing indicated uh, as far as plasma or solar winds striking Earth during that time period. So I guess they got that wrong. We've been waiting a coral hole stream from the coral hole that's been Earth facing now. Noah and NASA are not looking for this coral hole stream. For 48 to 72 hours, I think it's going to impact before that time period. Right now we have no solar winds or plasma hitting the planet per the four KP indexes. What we do have is an Earth-facing M flare. It looks like about an M 2.05 solar flare, Earth-facing. It was picked up on our GOES satellite here. It looked like it peaked at about 1240, but we will get some additional information about that. It's going to be the largest solar flare we've seen in the past seven plus days unbelievable all right an m 2.02 is how they're calling it out they have not assigned a sunspot group to it i have a pretty good guess though i think y'all will probably agree with me uh we actually have a B8.55 baseline, so we've slipped below a C flare baseline. Unbelievable. A 1% chance of an X-class solar flare. We only have one, uh, well, sunspot group that's not simple on our Earth-facing disk. That's going to be 4236, which is beta gamma. The rest of them are going to be simple or green. Of a 10% chance of having an M class solar flare. And well, since that's the biggest one in seven days, I think that that ship sailed. We only had a 60% chance of having a C class solar flare. Now they actually have a B 9.38 marked here. I can't remember the last time something like that was marked. Unbelievable. Nothing going on on our sun, period. All right, so the Beta Gamma Sunspot Group 4236 has gone around the limb and is no longer Earth-facing. We have four total Sunspot Groups Earth-facing, all simple. Five, if you count 4232. I know that sounds messed up, but I'll prove to you that that is 4232 in just one moment. 4236 is Gone Girl. And 4241 is going to be responsible for the M2.02 solar flare that just popped off. I don't think it's going to have an Earth component to it, but because it's the equinox with the Russell McFerrin effect, we do have a geomagnetic connection to that departing part of the sun, so it could very well bring the energy down that geomagnetic connection or geomagnetic rope and be geoeffective towards Earth, period. All right, like I said, 4232 has gone around the limb. 4236, the beta gamma sunspot that we looked at, which I'll show you again, is no longer visible or has gone around the limb. The rest of these sunspots or simple sunspots in 4241 is responsible for that last M flare. And because it was a bit complicated without 4236 showing up and with 4232 showing up, going around the limb, I thought I'd show you out one last time. 
although this Beta Gamma Sunspot group was only responsible for a B9.3 solar flare. Headed over to GOES-19 Core 1, our least favorite instrument. The latest and greatest piece of garbage. Uh, I'm guessing those dots are a proton storm that just hit. I don't know. Never seen anything like them. And that, I guess, is Earth's shadow on the right. And the shadow of this instrument on top of that. That's what Noah's telling us. It's ridiculous. What a waste of great money. All right, taking a look at GOES-19, so ultraviolet imager for that coral hull earth facing for at least 20 hours. I would expect the solar winds to impact within the next 20 hours or sooner, although NOAA is giving it to Saturday or Sunday. I just don't see that happening. 4241 has made it to the limb here. And that is our M202 solar flare. It might have been larger and partially eclipsed by the sun. You see that it did lift a filament. I'm just not quite sure. And no one is at this point with that new instrument, Core 1, if that filament uh, made it back into the canopy or was lifted off as a coil mass ejection. I will keep you updated as information about that is available. All right, all is quiet on the western front. They were looking for solar winds from that coral hole on the, well, 10th, 11th, somewhere in there. Or right here, they are really showing nothing. Maximum solar winds I see all the way through the 14th or 400. It's almost like they don't use this at all. This is our brand new Space Weather Prediction Center. They were paid $1.3 million to upgrade. And here we have plasma coming in above Space Weather level thresholds at 10 centimeters cubed on the 11th, which I'm sure is going to be that coral hole. But coral holes do what? They expel solar winds. Film eruptions and solar flares expel plasma. So, difficult, difficult, difficult to understand, as always, always wrong. Let's take a look at today, because we know they're going to be wrong, right? Uh, today, Earth. Here we go. Ninth. See plasma hanging out. Turned out the day around 4 and ended up at 5. We see solar winds starting out the day at around 350 and ended up at 300. So 5 to 4, 350 to 300. Jumping over to Discover Real Time Solar Wind Satellite, our newest shields down here. Terrible news. Look at all the plasma in the 50s. It's throughout. So we've been hit by some kind of huge, I don't know what it is, 164. I don't remember seeing plasma look like this ever. Some kind of huge galactical wave. And they're not giving us a uh, reason. Must have been a micronova that is, well, is just hitting our solar system. Is it 194? Unbelievable. Remember, they went from 5 to 4 today. Here's more up here. Uh, I'm not able to grab it. There's more up here. I can't grab it as well. But wow, throughout the day here, this is nothing I've ever seen before. 135 will give you some numbers. 18909, give me some numbers. 164.44, I'll give you some numbers. This is unbelievable. We have never seen an event like this, I can assure you. Let's, if this shows up on ACE 2, we'll be able to verify it on ACE. 
We also see the temperatures spiking off the charts here. Never seen the temperatures this hot in all, all my days. I could hardly get myself out of bed today. This is the reason I didn't know what it was going to be. Solar winds started at 300 and went to 300. They had them at starting at 350 and going to 300. Uh, we'll give them, we give them a B for that. But I don't know how you excuse this, these plasma readings. That's definitely all over the board here. I've seen a 190 thus far as a high. Let's see if we can pull a 190 out of our hat here. It's amazing to uh, see it go from 2 and 0.91 up to these much higher numbers. 194, 194.61. So we see plasma all over the place going up to almost 200 centimeters cubed. And it might have gone over that. My eyes are not fabulous. And then we can verify it with these very high temperatures that we see coming in here. You can barely see these green dots up here, and most of them are not reading, but there's some very, very high temperatures mixed in the same area where we have our very high plasma readings. We're going to have to call this an event like nothing else I've seen before. I would say that this was cosmic uh, plasma, cosmic rays, probably inbound from a micronova hitting our solar system. All right, moving back to our older, our older space satellite, ACE space satellite, real-time space weather, you can see that same event here, plasma well over 100 centimeters cubed, ongoing for hours how many hours is this numerous hours it looks like it's about 10 hours and what do we see we see temperatures almost off the charts up here at least in one instance uh extremely elevated in other instances and it goes through that same time period that we see the plasma acting like we've never seen plasma act before I don't remember ever seeing readings as high. Our shields are down. I would say that this was a special type of event. I don't know what type of event this was, but something just happened to Earth. Well, we know it didn't come from the sun. The sun's as quiet as it's ever been with four simple sunspots on it. And a few coming around the limb, but they look very simple as well. This is STOHMI magnetogram. This was updated today uh, and just a few hours ago as well. But what's so strange is Soho, and I mean all of Soho, is turned off. I can't get any of the Soho satellite to work. Turned off. The Europeans have gone home. The game is over. This came in uh, October 2nd, the last time any of their instruments were even on. We can't see the backside composites. We can't see anything. Soho is officially off. All right. Over to our European Space Agency. See if we can put this in motion here. Today, guys, is the 9th. And during the 9th, they have really no plasma whatsoever. Although they have plasma climbing up above 30 on the, well, we'll tell you in a second. So watch for the ninth here. Ninth is plasma in around 5 centimeters, which is about what the Space Weather Prediction Center called. And then they have a large spike in plasma, which I don't know what would have caused it. And that's going to be on the 10th, 11th, into the 12th, the 12th. Now, again, my question here are where are the solar winds from the coral hole? They're supposed to impact us right about, well, now on the 9th. That wouldn't be it. 
That doesn't even go to 325 kilometers per second. That wouldn't be it. That doesn't even reach 340 kilometers per second. They have no solar winds coming from that coronal hole, yet they have plasma shooting off the charts, although no one caught it shooting up above 100 centimeters cubed for 10 hours. And to top that off, all the pressure hitting Earth is not hitting our bow. Earth's moving to the left here at 67,000 miles an hour. The pressure is building up behind Earth. As you can see here, and it builds up all day. Almost as if we're getting hit by something outside the solar system or behind us. And we all know that we don't have anything behind us, right? There's no bow shock here. We wouldn't expect one because there's no plasma or solar winds. And we really shouldn't have any type of ebbing effect without a bow shock. So this must be a secondary source of energy coming from outside the solar system. And I think we've just seen it unbelievably. And finally, taking a quick artist rendition of our solar system on a flat plane. We do have gas giants behind us, Saturn, Neptune, Uranus. It could be causing that pressure. We also have Cirrus. I don't have any idea what caused a huge cosmic shock wave that just hit Earth for 10 hours. I hope everyone's okay. I have never seen plasma anywhere near those levels, period. Please make sure you share our video. Please subscribe and always remember, anything's possible, Bizarro World.